Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. I'm sorry I've been out of date for a while. Um, I was gone for vacation in the summer, so I'm back, so don't worry about it. Last episode, we were still exploring Mount Cornet. Oh, man. Okay, I caught myself a uh, album in snow for the reason that it appeared, and it was level 38, so I don't think I'm going to use it. If I plan on using it, then it's like, I, I think it's a bulky Pokemon. Uh, it's not good for competitive battling, but for in-game purposes, yeah. Alright, so now we can move on to Mount Quinette. And, okay, annoying. Oh, Bronzong, I owe you so much. Anyway, we have this girl over here that we need to battle. Bronzong is level 39, that's always good. Um, I, I think there's a rare candy somewhere here. Uh, oh, up here. Okay, there you go, there's a rare candy. I don't advise you to use rare candy because they don't give as good as stats. So, I would advise against rare candies. Alright, so I need to heal my Pokemon up. Um, this upcoming part can be really, like, in Diamond and Pearl is not bad, but in Platinum it's really confusing, and I'm still not used to it, and I'm not talking about this girl. Alright, Browns on level 40, and, uh, I hope I told you, like, before coming in, I hope you brought a lot of Ultra Balls or Dusk Balls. Preferably Dusk Balls. So let's see here. Dusk Ball 24, which I want to. Oops. What did I do? Okay. Never mind. Sorry. Which I want to put in forward. Oh, I actually accidentally paused my game. Recording. Anyway. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Put this. You won't need this. Don't use this. Put this as the third one. Actually, put this as the first one. Yeah. Anyway, now you want to move forward and battle these couple of trainers before we have second boss battle. I mean, another boss battle. Sorry, this is not the second battle. Anyway, uh, why am I showing this battle? I don't know, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. Now, yeah, I know Skunk Stunky over there is a poison type, and you might be urged to use Psychic on it, but it's also a dark type, so it won't do crap. So what I advise you to do is use Psychic on Krogunk, who is four times weak to Psychic. And look at Master Evigate already cleaning the house. And we got barely any experience for doing that. Barely any, like 172. And Krogunk. And it's the same po- oh, okay, thank god, I'm, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna use Extra Sensory on Krogunk and Air Lace on Glamio. And Glamio goes for a Sucker Punch. The best Pokemon to use Sucker Punch is Absol. Because, I mean, who. who so, sorry, I can't speak today. Absol is the best Pokemon who you can use. Because he has that stab, which means same type of attack bonus. Sucker Punch with the ridiculous amount of attack stat. And yeah, Brawzong is getting a, a bit higher experience because it has that experience share on it, which is always nice. Um, they, I think they excluded the experience share boost technique in Hard Glow and Soul Silver because I tried that and it didn't work out. <sighs> Her pulse of it wore off, and this is a pain, so you want to put any of your strong Pokemon in front. And I'm just going to put Bronzong out there for the experience, and you can see the two commanders, so that's why we can expect the boss battle. And you can see Cyrus up there, and I want to move my mouse out of the screen. But Gaven over here comes and helps us. So it's a two-on-two -two against Galactic Commanders Mars and Jupiter. Starts off with two Bronzors. Uh... Munchlax. I don't know why you would use that. Oh man. I need to stop pausing my recording sometimes. Anyway. I wish I had a fire type, but I don't. So I can't. I can only like use a, a bulky Pokemon. And they use Reflect. Which makes... Which makes Munchlax more useless. And thank god it was for Munchlax. And it still hit. Wow. 
even though it's not gonna do crap. So I'm just gonna go for muddy water and it hit well. I uh, muddy water has been one of my unluckiest moves and it accuracy fell. And the other bronze songs is avoids the attack. How do you avoid like I've complained bajillion times? How do you avoid a freaking muddy surf coming at you? And ooh, that's a good move. So once the reflect wears off. Oh my god, both of them are, how do you Oh my gosh, I need this Yeah, I'm just gonna body slam away. And special defense work. Ah, special defense grows. So the, I guess they have a pretty good strategy going on here, you know? First the physical walls, and then the special walls, and it's, and it's paralyzed, so the speed isn't half. Yeah, I don't think I ever told you guys that when uh, your Pokemon is paralyzed, their speed is halved. And it's not going to do much to me, hopefully. Okay, it didn't do much. And it's swallowed in just one stockpile, which didn't regain much. Oh, okay, body slam. And uh, the good thing is about this battle, they don't use full restores. Hopefully I'm right. I hope I'm right. Yeah, you just keep using stockpiles and do nothing. And you just keep using extra sensory. This is a very tedious battle because I don't have a I don't have a fire type. I'm just gonna use water pulse just to see what happens. What if I get a critical hit and knock this thing out? That'd be great. And it's confused and paralyzed. Isn't that amazing? You see how amazing my extreme is? And it's swallowed. As wrong as that sounds. Hurt itself. Yay! It only has like barely like 10% chance of attacking me. And one Bronzong's out. And it put another Reflect on. Light screen wear off, that's always good. And Purgly. 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 Okay, anyway. Yeah, just hit the Munchlax. Yeah, nobody loves Munchlax. Everyone hates Munchlax. Well, no. At least not in the movie when it evolved in Snorlax in that one movie. I think it's Deoxys and Rayquaza one. I don't know what that one's. It was, it was the one with Deoxys in it. That's what I'm going to say. I think that is when they first showed Munchlax. Did they? I'm not sure. And his crappy Munchlax is out of the game. Which is always good. It would have been better if he had a... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if he had a Snorlax. But, oh well, can't complain. So I'm just gonna body slam away this Golbat, and hopefully he hits... Aww. Yeah, Heracross is going down. Oh, okay, no, I'm surprised. And, yay! And, ooh! Never underestimate Heracross, because Heracross has amazing... Uh... <sighs> attack stats, just that it kind of crappy defensively, but it's not that crappy. Only it's special defense, but all fighting types are specially weak. And if you use Float Zone, I hope it knows any ice type moves. I'm just gonna try. And it's using Iron Tail. Yay. Yay, not me. This is one tedious battle. The two Golbats are taking forever. I mean the two, sorry, Bronzongs took forever and, ah oh man, and Bronzong's level 41, yay! Giga Drain, that sucks, it's gonna be like four times more effective and it's gonna, oh man, that was ugly, that was not cool, not cool. And why, why are you using Iron Tail? Use water type moves. It has a, you know, same type of tap bonus and probably could have knocked it out without me having to use that. And Extreme is level 48, that's always good. Skunk Tank. Now I don't care if his float cell is hurt. Is that not the only move you know, buddy? Oh, Defense Fell. This is always good now. To survive. Survive! Man. Yeah, go Stewie. You are the second hope I got. So. Earthquake, this thing. I don't care if float cell gets hurt. Go with the defense again, Float Zone. And Citrus Berry, of course. 
Yay! Poison that freaking stupid floater who keeps using uh, poison. That, oh, I'm gonna kill your. I'm gonna kill your float cell. Guess what? Yeah, there you go, that's alright. Why don't I get experience for doing that? It's so stupid. Aw, oh, that was so stupid. Oh man. Okay. Alright, heal, heal, heal us up, which is always great. And now comes the amazing cutscene. We have, I just, I just paused to check my time, and we have gotten like plus 10 minutes in this video, and we have barely gotten anywhere where I wanted to get. So, in here, if you're playing Pearl, I think it's Dialga. If you're playing Diamond, I think it's Palkia. So. Or maybe I confused, I'm not sure, I don't care. But in here, um, well, both of them appear. Does that mean you can catch both? Who knows? Uh, it's because of those stupid lake trios that we have to go through all this trouble. But oh wait. What's happening? I know all three are called Mesprit, Azulf, and... Oh. Mesprit, Azlo, Azulf, and... Uh, I don't know what the third one is, but I don't know which one is named what. Ah, oh, gosh. Can you, like, get done with your retarded speech? We are a ten-year-old. We, You expect us to understand this complicated stuff? And guess who's coming? Guess who's coming? Oh, look at that. Look at that beast. Even though the cutscene sucks in the emulator, if you're playing this on a Nintendo DS, it looks way cooler. But yeah, I'm gonna spoil it. It's Giratina, and we're gonna get sucked into the distortion world, which we are gonna cover later in the next episode. Yeah. So Cyrus pulls both Palkia, I mean, Giratina pulls both. Palkia, Dialga, and Cyrus into the distortion world. And Azulf, Mesprit, and whatever the third one was <laughs> are going in there to fix things, and we need to go in there too with Cynthia, making things even worse. So make sure you actually did bring a lot of Ultra Balls and stuff, because once you go here, I don't think there's any coming back. I think I I hope you can. But this is this is the distortion world of Giratina and previously you can only capture that, you know, spear pillar. Oh. I mean sorry. Yeah, you're back at Spear Pillar and you're back here. You see, you can come back on. Okay, so you can go back and restock on your alt balls. Anyway, we are back here and I'm going to save my game right here. So I will see you guys in the next episode.